What is going on, fan club? And now, finally, we're going to be talking about the Avengers Infinity War, the official podcast. I am here with my returning guest, Uncle Tone. Uncle Tone, back again. What's up, guys? <laughs> and... You want me to say it? Yeah, say it. She needs a muzzle. <laughs> she needs a muzzle. All right. Don't uh, we all? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Before, before this is going any further, let's start with the Avengers Infinity War podcast. Uh, let me see. Uh, so I guess any of you guys got anything or... Anything I mean, first? honestly, I loved it. I mean, overall, I thought it was a great movie. Um, I, me and my boyfriend couldn't talk 20 minutes afterwards because, you know, that ending. Yeah. But uh, overall, I thought it was a great movie. Um, I liked it. I really liked it. Um, I thought that I still had a few of the MCU movies ahead of it. Um, mm-hmm. But as an overall yeah. film, I thought, it was a, I thought it was a solid film. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> a few things that that kind of uh, surprised me positively and kind of negative. Of course, the negative, of course, is is the ending of the movie. I mean, yeah. I think I think for all of us that was like a oh shit, what the fuck moment. Right. Yeah. You, know, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, what about you in terms of the ending? Uh the ending. Um, I wasn't. I felt like it was mostly for shock value. Um, especially okay. when certain characters died, I was like, okay, well, yeah. we know we're getting these these characters back. Um, I I like where they went with it, though, because, you know, I wasn't expecting as much characters to get killed off as they did. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought it was cool. At the same time, I wanted some characters to stick around for the sequel. So. Mm. All right. Honestly, I wish, like, one of the more major characters would have died to, just to have had a better impact. Like, yeah. Maybe Tony, maybe Cap. Like, I understand kind of why they stuck around, but yeah. still, I felt like it would have been a little more even and truly, like, to Thanos' like, 50%. Right. Like, flip of a coin. You know, it's funny you say that because I was talking to a friend of mine, and um, he, he was saying that he wished Tony would have died, but <clears throat> uh, story-wise... They didn't tie up the relationship between Tony and and Cap, so they have to at least settle that storyline out. I don't think that was completely settled. That's what I'm saying. So that's why they couldn't kill off Cap or Tony in this one, because if you guys remember, there was no interaction whatsoever in this film between those two. So I think once they settle that storyline out, there's possibilities for one of those characters to die in the next film. All right, we could pick up with the pros, some pros, if you guys want. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah sounds good. Well, you got some. You got you. You know, like you got a lengthy list there. Uh, <laughs> three, not three, not three as things, big as yours. Three no, or four man. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna, you know, talk yeah, about yeah, the yeah, elephant whatever. in the room. Uh, yeah, the Thanos. Thanos. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, Thanos yeah. killed it. I think yeah, Josh Brolin yeah. yeah, yeah, was I a fantastic so Thanos. Yeah. yeah, I think he um, was. I, I think. He's, yeah. Go I think he's he's. I think that his character. I mean, his his personality trait and his whole psyche kind of reminded me of Heath Ledger's Joker, kind of, because he he was very, even though Heath Ledger's Joker was more he was more like a maniac, he he was more like a psychologically imbalanced, mm-hmm. <laughs> he he was more he was a lot more uh, emotionally disturbed, but he he had he had. A reason why that happened to him because yeah. his his father had you know done some things to him and his, his mother and it caused him to go berserk and become the Joker and Thanos Thanos's ideal is okay I've I've witnessed suffering like you mentioned before mm-hmm. I've witnessed suffering so much that it, it gets to the point where okay like the theory that we've all heard like there's this there's, there's this kind of political theory that there's too many people in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Overpopulation. And, and, yeah, overpopulation. I think that's where Thanos' uh, idea uh, came from. And I thought that he was an ex- excellent villain because of that. You know, because like you said before, he, he actually believed in what he was doing. Yeah, he, he actually he's a wanted to destroy, uh, wanted to, just, just mm-hmm. to eliminate half the universe because he felt that it was 
not only overpopulated because of the overpopulation, mm -hmm. it was causing, you know, other people to not have. So you can say that I guess he was he was fair to uh I don't know. He he was I guess he he was kind of fair to the universe. He was like I think he, Oh, I didn't mean the. the no, 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 yeah. He was like the balance. I, I like agree. The balance breaker. I, I think what what you're, what you're saying is that his motives were very clear and yeah. and the, to a certain very extent clear. very understandable. He yeah, very overpopulation clear. can definitely be a thing. I think his um, the ways he went about it is very extreme mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, yeah you think but, okay. <laughs> you think <laughs> it's, it's interesting that you brought up the Joker because the Joker is a very very chaotic villain where he he believes in chaos. And in that same sense, Thanos believes that half the universe should be wiped off, but uh, randomly. So it's kind of chaotic in that same type of sense. You know what I mean? It's it's not. It's it's not. Um, where, where was I going with this? I mean, I feel like you know, bringing another DC villain into it. Two uh, Two Face just flip a coin and yeah, there you, yeah. 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 Okay. there you go. Yeah, that's another similar idea. Um, I want to I want to talk about the pros a little bit. Um, um, I wrote down a list of things that I wanted to, and we can all chime in, of course. Yeah. She has a she needs a muzzle. We, yeah. Uh, you got you got any pros? Pros? I mean, I liked, and I I mean, going back into how they were making the movie, where every single director, you know. Uh, I forgot if it, I forgot how they did it, but it was like you know they had input on what their character said and like the screenwriting mm. and what their characters were doing, and I felt like you got the best of all the worlds. Yeah, like I honestly I agree. didn't like Guardians Two. I just felt like it tried too hard with the humor, right. but in Infinity War it was perfect. Like you had Drax's. Um, scene with like eating and pretending that like he couldn't be he was like <laughs> he was super sneaky oh, that and everything. Was funny. That, that was, was funny. funny. Yeah. Like you had Tony and Pepper That was and, funny. You know, how but, everything just was the right amount. And yeah. even even to chime in on, on off of that, even Thor was yeah. <clears throat> I want I don't want to say he was exactly like he was in Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. He was probably just a little bit stepped down but yeah. he was he was mostly that same type of Thor that we got. Exactly. He was, uh, what was it, Pirate Angel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was great where it's like, finally we get... I, I like how fleshed out these characters are now once you find like the right person who knows how to write them and bring them to screen. Right. Um, I mean, honestly, that's like one of my top pros of this movie. Um. And also, like, you know, I, I love the crossover, finally. Everybody kind of interact with one another. Oh, yes. It's something that we've yeah. been building up for 10 years now. It, exa it only took 10 years. Yeah, just 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Just 10 years. Not a long time. Just a decade. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, only no, a decade. Uh, only a decade. You know, billions of dollars in revenue. <laughs> no biggie. Um, you know, what else What else uh, did you like about it? Uh, I thought the... Another thing I have on my list is the action scenes. Yes. Uh, that's something that I really like from the Russo brothers is they know how to do action really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen it in Winter Soldier. We've seen it in Civil War. Yeah. Uh, their action is definitely on point, uh, especially with the opening scene with yes. Thanos and Hulk. You know, Hulk oh, yeah, is, that was mm -hmm. that was quite a scene right there. Right, uh -huh. and Hulk is going in on Thanos, and Shit. Thanos just comes back, and you're like, oh, my gosh, am I watching a UFC fight? Because <laughs> yeah. Thanos just and, went and, in. And he so. was giving him rib shots, and that Thanos was giving Hulk rib exactly, shots and everything. Exactly, exactly. I was so, like, wow. I thought they did the action really well. I thought the CGI on Thanos was spectacular. Exactly. Yeah. Almost uh, even on par yeah. with the... Um, Planet of the Apes mm -hmm. films. I, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the last two, yeah, I've but seen the, 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 last two, the yeah. special effects on on but Caesar the, on or the, the other apes, apes yeah. are spectacular. So I thought Thanos was almost almost like yeah. real <laughs> at some points. Like, and you could feel his presence on screen. Exactly, just like he's a massive guy, but he does take up that kind of space just because of you know just what he's doing. His right. like aura of being. But uh, what, what yeah. about you? That. Thanos the CGI, it kind it it made me happy and it made me sad. And I'm gonna tell you why it made me happy. It made me happy because we were like, we finally cracked it. Well, not finally cracked it, but we've come really far 
close, very close to perfection, in my opinion. Thanos, in certain moments of the movie, I couldn't tell whether it was a real Thanos okay. or if it was CGI Thanos. And, I, and, and I'm being, I'm being serious. I love the way they did the CGI, and I thought it was, I thought the CGI was magnificent. To be honest with you, and I'm gonna tell you why I did not. I'm gonna tell you the the bad thing, the thing that I was thinking about every time Thanos came on the scene. <clears throat> now, Justice League, uh, our villain, <laughs> our main villain of Justice League. What's his name? Yeah. What, what, what was his name? It, I name actually again. didn't bother I, I watching Justice League. Um, uh, it's like on the tip of my tongue. What is his name? Now, you see, we should know this. We should know this shit because this is DC. Like forgettable. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately. But they, the thing that pissed me off about DC, and I know we're talking about the Avengers in this Yeah, podcast, yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing that pissed me off about DC is their first Justice League movie, and they pick a very unknown character as their first DC. Stephen Wolf. Stephen Wolf. There you go. Stephen Wolf. Oh, I was looking yeah. it up for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah, very forgettable. And one, I didn't even know who the villain was in the first place. I, I didn't hear about Stephen Wolf until after they announced who, who the really? villain was. So. That's sad. I, I, I mean, yeah, that's and, and that's sad because I think they were hiding them purposely for that reason, you know, in my opinion. But that's what made me sad about it. The fact that you have Thanos, they were able to, to crack it. I mean, maybe not, if not 100% uh, with, with all of our efforts in, 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 into the CGI technology, but Stephen Wolf had his chance. DC had his chance with Stephen Wolf. And Stephen Wolf in DC, it, it really pissed me off. Mm-hmm. And so I was thinking, I was every time Thanos came on the screen, I was thinking, thinking about why couldn't they just take their time and do the same thing with Stephen Wolf? Take their time. Well, and, and, and I mean, I know there's this controversy with that, and I don't want to get into DC. Yeah, the DC's controversy and everything. Well, what, what do you need? What do you want to say? Well, no, no, that's exactly what I was going to get into. Yeah. But let, let, let's, <clears throat> like, you're right. Let's yeah. keep on topic yeah. with the so, Avengers. Yeah, that. Yeah, so that that upset me. Uh, just the fact that, man, but we got a good CGI Thanos. Yep. And he looked realistic. Yeah, he, he looked He looked fantastic. really realistic, so. Even um, the CGI effects with Spider-Man's suit, I thought looked yeah, really right. well. I thought it was, I, I thought, it, I, I thought it was an actual suit, to be yeah, honest with you. I, I did Even until I, CGI, I saw, saw like behind the, the scenes yeah. that uh, they said that, no, that the whole thing is CGI. So I was like, oh, that, that looks fantastic. The Iron Man suit looked look great. Oh, man. Uh, the, the, is, the special effects were yeah. pretty great um, in this film. Yeah, and I, I get it. There's a lot more CGI than I thought there would be because we spent a lot of time out of space, which I didn't expect. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah, thought a lot of our time would be Neither. on you know Wakanda or or you know some, some more more things on Earth, but yeah, yeah. we, we spent a lot of time in, in space <clears throat> from so that that came to a surprise to me. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but the first scene where Tony Stark he first got into the ship and he was talking to Pepper Potts. Do you guys remember the conversation? Yeah, she was telling yeah she was telling him to come back. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. and do you remember like later on in that conversation? You, I well, this, this is the note that I have. The call between Tony and Pepper, I, I could have sworn I heard someone say, "Boss, we're losing." Yeah, yeah. That's... Friday was saying, "Boss, we're losing her." Friday yes. is the new Jarvis. No, I, no, I know that, but I, I, I just wanted to like, like that. That caught my ear because Boss were losing her. What does that mean? Uh, they, they were losing signal. They, he couldn't. He wasn't able to communicate with her because he was so. Far oh, out. okay, okay, okay. I was, I was okay. Now that's simple. I was, I was actually thinking about something that was more technical. Like, like he's losing her again because he's yeah. going back and saving. Yeah, it yeah. could have been a double entendre. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it was. It was a. a, yeah. a, a I thought one. it was for for a second there. I thought it was playing with time for a minute. No, I thought it was playing no, with time no, and no. something foreshadowing the future. I, I mean, mean it, it, it could because I mean, like you know, Pepper's whole issue is that Tony just yeah. keeps on going out and being an adventure, and they just can't have a life. Like, I mean, maybe not, maybe not, but whatever. But uh, I, I think it, from, it was nothing. It, it, maybe it was nothing. I, I'm just. I think it literally meant what, what they, you know, like, the, the, yeah, reception, yeah, like, the, the reception. But like we said, it could have been a double meaning to that. Like, yeah, we're losing I, I felt that it was. Yeah, signal, but at the same time, it's like. <clears throat> He's off again, like you just mm-hmm. said, being yeah. Iron Man. So you could definitely take it in both ways. How so. about Stan Lee's cameo? Was that awesome or was that awesome? Uh, was, he was, was on the bus, right? Yeah, he was the yeah. bus driver. Yeah, that was, that was cool. That was cool. Um, it's good to see Stan Lee, you know, still kicking it strong. 
Was it that he already yeah. had a bunch of cameos pre-recorded? Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, Stanley uh, he's down with some type of illness. I don't actually recall exactly what he has, but yeah, I think um, it's yeah. I, you know, he's up there in age. He's about. What, I think he's battling years? with some, um, you know, some uh, estate issues too. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah I mean, he's yeah, yeah. battling some estate issues, but. Yeah, Thanos' cameo was unexpected. I-, I didn't expect that that soon. But you mean, we- uh, Stanley? Cameo. No, Stanley. what did I say? You said uh, Thanos. Thanos. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much yeah, Thanos' yeah. movie. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Stanley's cameo on a school bus. I, I thought that that was... Uh, uh, come on, you never seen a spaceship before? <laughs> yeah. I thought that was awesome. What do you guys think about his cameo? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, right? Yeah, I mean, same cool. like all the yeah, other yeah, cool. Exactly. Uh, uh, what do you guys think about the theory of him being one of the uh, Watchers? I remember hearing like that. that because oh, of, that was in yeah. Guardians too, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. One of the watches. Uh, again, I mean, I, it could be a possibility. I, I never like really think about Stanley's cameo when I watch a film. I'm like, oh, okay, that that's cool. that's where like, he, he is. Yeah, that's where he is. It's, it's like finding uh, okay. well, fi- fi- finding Waldo. <laughs> oh, no, <it's, laughs> so without like you know yeah. actually having the search, but I want to mention something real quick. Sure. Um, now I like when I watch movies. I like, I, I listen very keenly on certain certain words, certain dialogue. I'm into dialogue mm-hmm. very much, like double meanings and stuff, mm-hmm. and yeah. reading in between the lines. And I don't know if you guys remember. Now, let me just say this. The, the number one conversation that people have been having with the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Fox got involved mm-hmm. is the, the, ri- the, the, the coming back of Fantastic Four. Is that the number one? Because I would say it's more so X-Men. Well, well, I think it, I think X-Men and Fantastic Four. Yeah. But lately, you remember Thor Ragnarok? Yeah. When Korg, mm-hmm. Korg was in that, that little ring hallway with uh, Thor. Yeah. And, and Thor was like something along the lines of, what are you? And he said, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a thing. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of a rock-like creature. Yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe that's a reference to the thing on the Fantastic Four. Maybe them giving us a little, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't, I didn't catch on to that. Oh, you didn't catch on to that? No, I did not catch well, on. Well, I'd have to rewatch it. It's fine. It's fine. But, uh, everybody can't be. Everybody can't be like me. But uh, <laughs> but I uh, remember the scene, and 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 this is where I'm gonna link the two. Yeah. You remember the scene when Tony Stark, Doctor Strange, and Wong. They were talking inside, and then when they heard a commotion outside, they walked through the doors, and they they met um, the big guy of one of the Thanos's uh, yeah, Black the Order, one, yeah. the giant one with the big at, the big ass mm-hmm. axe, mm-hmm. and and um, remember remember he told Banner to turn into the Hulk, and yeah. Banner was like no, because you know he got some kind of thing with the Hulk now. PTSD. And, yeah, something like that. The Hulk has and, PTSD. Hulk has yeah, PTSD. Banner's fine. <laughs> the Hulk was like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, the Hulk, I'm he, not getting another ass whooping. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. He got fucked up big time by Thanos. But, um, and, uh, and Tony, he says something along the lines of, it's a, it's, it's a creature. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. You know, go get it. And I was like, okay, now that's the second time they mentioned a thing. I mean, maybe I'm just overacting, but maybe they're trying to subliminally get into our heads that, you know, Fantastic Four is coming back and they you know, in the second reference uh, of a thing. Honestly, maybe it's just coincidental. I, I, I think it might just be coincidental. Yeah, I okay. agree with that. That, okay. that deal is not completely set in stone yet. I mean, it's it's more than likely <laughs> going to happen, but be, it takes about an 18-month period for that deal to really be set in stone. So I think until yeah. then, they're not going to make any kind of uh, notions or even references, subtle references in, in their films until they know that they yeah. can use those characters for sure. Have you guys heard of the latest, by the way? The, we, we still got some time to wait. With so. Comcast? Oh, with Comcast? Yeah, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Wait, what? A little off the topic. Comcast was also trying to put in a deal to buy uh, Fox. $65 billion. It's like Comcast, there's Comcast, and there's Disney. So it's like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Disney is like a corporate empire right now. But remember, so. from what I understand, Comcast is putting up a lot more, uh, more money than... Maybe like you a few billion more. You don't think Disney... Is willing to put out a little bit extra if they. Well, really I hope they to. do. I hope they do. I mean, Comcast is. I, I mean, I'd rather Disney get exactly, Comcast. Exactly. Maybe, to be honest with you, but I mean, just just a, just a little off the topic, small thing. Yeah. But, uh, it, I, I, like you said, we just gotta wait and see. What's, yeah, what's, what's it's happen. just a waiting game. Um, what do you guys think about the? And I, and I know you guys have a somewhat of a hyped opinion about Steve Rogers 
Black Widow and Falcon's intro. I loved it. Introduction. I loved it. I was like, nice intro. I loved get, it. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, I, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, I, I was thinking from the trailer that uh, Steve Rogers and their intro was going to be in Wakanda, but mm-hmm. it was, it was oh, cool. Man. It was cool. I, I, you know, what? I'm actually I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I'm pretty sure you are because that, that <laughs> I actually I it's not that particular intro, but the 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 amount of time we got with certain characters. Yeah, I did have oh, issues. Yes. I mean, granted, I do have a few more pauses. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. want, if Come you on. guys want to yeah. uh, finish out whatever whatever Come pauses on, on, we on. got. Yeah, yeah. Um, on. But I do like the new character interactions that we got in, yes. the, in this movie. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially with Doctor Strange and, and mm-hmm. Tony, because they're they're practically the same character, just different <laughs> yeah. abilities. Exactly. One's a doctor yeah. slash magician, or not magician, wizard, wizard. and wizard. one's a technological de- a genius. So it's yeah. like they both have huge egos. They're both super smart. Um, <laughs> just, just keep on sarcastically making little remarks to each other. Right, right, right. Yeah, I yeah. loved it. I loved. It. In fact, I wanted more of it, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. with that unfortunate ending, we're not going to get any more. Yeah. The next, the next film, um, Thor and uh, Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, that was uh, sweet. There you mm-hmm. go. Yeah, sweet little chemistry right yeah, there. Yeah, um, Rocket is so. What else did Rock, Rocket and um, Bucky, where he's oh, like, oh, yeah. can I buy your arm? Can I buy your gun? I'm gonna get that arm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what else did we get? You know, something that we didn't get though, what? which I was really looking forward to in this movie is uh, Bucky and Falcon because I love oh, their true. chemistry in Civil oh, War. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that yeah, was you're right. Great. Yeah. Can you move up your seat. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> or was cool. like that was cool. after Spider Man came cool. in and <laughs> uh, Falcon sent them flying away. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bucky was like, "You couldn't have done that sooner." And he was like, "I." Hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, those are the Civil War days. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, what, what else to add? About no, I mean, I, that's like why one of the reasons why I love this movie so much. It was such a crossover where you yeah. see different chemistries and whatnot. That's just like, oh my god, yay! It only took ten years, well, but yeah, yeah it, was, just, it was. It's definitely a great buildup. Um, I like the fight scenes with the Koi and uh, Black Widow because they both oh, yeah. are oh, very yeah, yeah, like yeah. long ranged weapon. People? Yeah, exactly. If, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, was, Okoye was also the one bodyguard he had in Civil War, right? I think they they disproved that. So it's a different showed, person. It was a different person. It was a different person. That I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say because like I've been wanting to see those like a, the p- two like baddest women in. I would love Marvel to see cinematic. a fight between the both of them. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that, that that was definitely a great pairing, a great team up though mm-hmm. in, in that scene. Yeah, that was awesome. Speaking of, like, what surprised me was, uh, what's his name, uh, who's actually a giant in this movie who created, uh, Thor's new Uh, weapon. Peter Dinklage. Oh, yeah, Peter his Dinklage character, is, yeah. That was a, that was a shock to me, I had no idea. It was a shock to me, too. Uh, but I loved it. Was it was a shock to I, me, too, I, yeah. I thought it was a funny joke, because, you know, Peter Dinklage is, uh, is a, yeah, little yeah, 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 a little person in real life, and then <laughs> they made him a little person in the movie, but as a giant. Like, yeah. he was a giant little person. That was so. a cool yeah. little, uh, yeah. So. I forgot what you call that when you com- compare two opposites. I forgot. I forgot, I forgot the word for that. But anyway, um, yeah. But, but yeah. Um, what are you guys thinking about? What do you guys think about the moment when Vision got impaled by Corvus Glaive's spear? You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I'll, oh shit! Vision <laughs> was very. Uh, I felt like he was very underpowered in this. In this I was movie. like, I what thought so happened? Too. Why yeah, is I he on like hospice? I, I, yeah. I literally thought. <laughs> I was like, hospice. what happened? Stage hospice. four cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, no. I, I thought before this film, Vision was the most one of the most powerful exactly. Avengers. He was supposed to be, and he he's was very he's very weak in this movie. He picked up Thor's was... hammer in uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. come he, on, he guy. didn't do much. <laughs> he didn't do not. He did not do much in this film. I, I thought wasn't it like maybe I missed it, even though I watched the movie <laughs> twice. Like wasn't it alluded or didn't it, like something happen in the beginning where he's like, you know, I'm weak. Like he no, it was no. just he felt something coming. He felt something coming, felt and it, oh, his body happened. chemistry is changing because he's adapting to being in this in this body for after oh, a while. Okay. Okay. Remember, he was a combination from Tony Stark to Ultron to pretty much everything. He was a, essentially a creation of Tony, yeah. and now he's yeah. becoming his own being. So that that that's what he was getting accustomed to being his, oh, his okay. own type of person. Okay. I never thought of it like that. Um, but he he wasn't from what I got. He wasn't. Technically weaker, but he just felt very weak in this film. I mean, he kept on getting his ass whooped, and then it's like he couldn't catch a break, so he could never recover. Yeah, but yeah. even then, it was like you're still 
superior to so many other beings that you're fighting. Like, right. you shouldn't be... You should be. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, shouldn't... you should be. Even though you're, like, down, you shouldn't be this down. And, and you know what? I thought it was funny that Vision and Scarlet Witch couldn't take those two... Uh, henchmen of exactly. Thanos, but you get three characters that have no superpowers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Cap is cool, yeah. semi. He's uh, a p- superior human being, but he's still a human being. <laughs> right. He can still yeah. die. And Wait, they, they well, took yeah. them down with ease. And when she threw the spear and he stepped to the side and caught it, mm-hmm. I was like, wow. Yeah. I mean, uh, but that, I guess you could also <laughs> attribute that to their, their team chemistry because they, they've been working together for yeah. since well, yeah. Winter since Soldier now. Yeah. So. I mean, my issue was well, like, <coughs> right? Like I love. <coughs> I was thinking of Falcon too. Mm-hmm. Like I love Scarlet Witch in this universe. Like I love Wanda and how you know she was young and Wanda now she's growing sense. into and she's trained and whatnot. But it's like you are pretty much one of the most powerful human beings in the uh, powerful beings in this universe mm-hmm. by she, far. She is. Yeah. Like you, you literally eliminated all mutants because right. you were that distraught. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I know you're young, but. Come on, girl. Come on. Come yeah, on. Get, get it come, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Like, you destroyed so many clones of Ultron when your brother died. Like, your man's life is at risk. Right. Like, <laughs> like it, it's adrenaline time. Let, let, let's let's go. That, and, you know, Doctor Strange is also, like, I, I thought he would be, like, a, a bigger player in this. Because I, I felt like Doctor Strange no. was really powerful, especially from seeing In that. this one, I, he, he was, I think that he was... He showed more power and more strength than he did in his own movie. But he, strange. He, he didn't use the time stone that once. Yeah, in the he show. didn't use the time stone that much. Except to see to have those visions in the in the future. Yeah, yeah, th- that's what I mean. Like like more mystical powers. Right, right. Like more time powers and the way he he multiplied himself to, oh, to right, make right, Thanos, right. Thanos, you know, confused and everything. So, what about Drax's? Comp- uh, comedic moment. You mentioned it. Yeah, earlier. yeah. The it wasn't yeah. a potato chip, but it was like he yeah. was eating. I, I loved it. It was like that perfect, like oh. it was that perfect bit of like Guardians humor <laughs> yeah, where it wasn't yeah. overdone. Yeah, and it was it was it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, Drax. Uh, but Dave Bautista, you know, I have to say this: <laughs> Dave Bautista has come a long way. Yeah, because I mean, for for those of you who have been following, I mean, he used to be in uh, pro wrestler, and then he he went he started doing acting, but he wasn't so great at first. I, I felt like Drax. Him. He's he's found his. His niche is, yeah. I think I think he's been doing fantastic since he's been on Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I always give it to actors who like try to give it their all and like you know do a role. And yeah. I, if I remember correctly, Dave Batista like had three different acting coaches because he wow. just wanted to do a great yeah. job. He has he has my my respect. Like I oh, give yeah. him a lot of praise. Oh, yeah, he, definitely. He's definitely come a long way. He actually did a really good job. If I don't know if you guys seen him in Blade Runner. I've seen him play when he did a good job. It. It, it's a pretty good movie. I don't, I, think, I, don't, I don't think we've seen enough of him though. But from what I've seen, yeah, yeah. He, oh no, he he has yeah. a small scene. It's at the beginning, but, but he it, did it's good really good. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. He um, did a good job. I love him as Drax. I, Bruce and uh, Bruce Banner and the Hulk. What would you guys think of? Uh, his... Hulk got PTSD. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I thought it was hilarious when he was like, <laughs> "No, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, uh, no?" <laughs> but I. I was a little disappointed he didn't at least come back out at the just end. for a little bit. Yeah, because I thought just like, to help out, they would work mm-hmm. out that whole Bruce and the Hulk storyline mm-hmm. by the end of the film. But instead, he he never came out, even when the fate, of, literally the fate of the universe, was at stake. Hulk yeah. was like, nah, and, and, yeah, and he got scared because he got muffled by the big purple. Uh, what they call him? Uh, Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos. The big purple Titan. Thanos so. beat the calm into him. Yeah, he sure did. What about the the mention the mentioning of Ant Man and Hawkeye? Actually, they mentioned him briefly. Oh uh, yeah, how yeah. they're just not here. Well, I, I had heard previously from just watching some movie news that uh, Hawkeye was not going to have a presence in this movie so I wasn't surprised I didn't know mm-hmm. Ant-Man was not going to be in this movie but yeah. Yeah. it's understandable it was just as many characters as we had we're, they're, they're not able to fit every single character yeah. uh, in this one film so yeah. I have I'm, I'm sure we'll okay. see him in the next one what, what about uh, you said Ant-Man or Hawkeye uh, Ant-Man I'm sure we'll uh, actually I'm sure we'll see both of them in the next mm-hmm. one yeah so, and what, what do you think about Hawkeye another side side note we think Hawkeye becoming a uh, Ronin. I don't know too much about Ronin. Uh, Hawkeye. 
I kind of running. I I hadn't heard of that, so I, I don't. Yeah, know. supposedly he's. His, have you heard? No. Supposedly he becomes this character called Ronan. I don't. I don't know too much about it neither, but it's supposed to be a more powerful character than than himself with just a bow and arrow. Uh, like I said, I don't know too much about it, but he's supposed to. He supposedly had changed. And you guys that says listening, jump in the comment section and let me. You know, let, let us know because we're not too familiar with uh, Hawkeye Trent. His transformation into Ronan, but for, I've I've heard rumbles that he might be in Avengers Four as Ronan, uh, and Ronan is supposed to be like a I guess kind of like an anti hero, anti hero kind of. Uh, and uh, I kind of have a theory why he became anti. I, I have that theory, but get it. No, I'm I'm just looking it up right now. Go ahead. Where, what do you got? Uh, Clint Barton is the second person to don the Ronin identity, becoming Ronin when he rejoined the New Avengers in the aftermath of Civil War. He attempted to mm. hand the costume back to Echo after she was rescued from the hand, but Echo declined and allowed him to keep it. Clint Barton later resumed his Hawkeye identity st- during the start of Heroic Age. I I I, I would just Heroic feel Age. like that would be out of place if they don't have any. Uh, backstory to that because yeah. we yeah. haven't seen Hawkeye since Civil War. Yeah. So him just coming in as his new character it, to us as an audience, especially yeah. to us who doesn't know that much about the character <laughs> in the comics, we're just going to yeah. be like who is okay? Yeah. Where did this come from that this is such a left turn? Uh, I, I don't I don't know how I would feel. I, I, I think it makes more sense just from a storyline standpoint just to yeah. keep him as Hawkeye. Yeah, I think again okay. Yeah, no, I mean, jumping into that, like, the reason why, like, the movies and the TV shows and whatnot kind of don't dwell, delve so much into the comics is because they have to make things simplistic to just the everyday viewer. Exactly, exactly. So I feel like him becoming Ronin is just, like, they, they would really have to, like, dedicate almost half a movie to that, if not make it a series, just so that everybody can understand. I completely agree. And, and jumping off that, you know, people have to understand that even though we have thousands of people that go out and watch these comic book films, the majority of those people are not avid comic book readers. They, exactly. they are the general audience. <laughs> yeah. So you have to sell it to your general audience mm-hmm. and still please those hardcore comic book fans like we are. Yeah. So. I, I mean, my thing is, like, I, I mean, I used to read manga when I was younger, and, like, I don't really read comic books, but, like, I can wiki something, but that's because I have the time and I have the energy and I want to understand. Exactly. Like, most people are like, I just want to watch fun stuff. Right. For two hours. And escape for two hours. And, mm-hmm. and then just, boom, Leave be it done. on the table. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. What are you guys thinking about the, uh, what do you guys think about that? The happy ending that we had. <laughs> what do you guys the, the, think about the disintegration of most quote unquote, quote unquote happy. happy ending, <laughs> which is not happy at all? <laughs> I think my boyfriend almost held my hand at that point because we were just like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, this, yeah, it was powerful for a lot. That was, yeah. I mean, really, toward, like when they started, it was like, "Oh shit, who's next? Who's yeah. next? Oh fuck!" And, well, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, starting from the beginning, mm-hmm. like I think me and a lot of people were like. Oh wait, Loki died, but like it was a question mark. Yeah. Like we didn't really believe it. But then, uh, you know, Hendel died. Then it was Loki. Then it was like, oh okay, like you know, things are things seem to be permanent now. And, and then at the end, it's like, oh shit, this was a reality. Yeah, so, that was, uh, I was shocked too. Good. That that actually goes into my negatives. So okay. I actually, at first, the first person to go was Bucky, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. So at first I was shocked. I was like, oh, no, not mm-hmm. not Bucky. But then once I saw Black Panther was gone, I was like, "Yeah, Black Panther like... way, made way too much money. <laughs> There's yeah. no way that he's going to forget. And then they killed off Spider-Man, which I thought was the best yeah. death scene because the way it Tom was. Holland played it. Like, yeah. he, it he was scared. He, he was frightened. Exactly. Mm-hmm. He played it as a little kid, you know, scared to, yeah. to die. He, he, it has such an emotional impact on me. But all the... Yeah. All the rest of the deaths after that just became. It Were served the story. Yeah, I was just like, okay, I know they're coming back. There's, there's no way you're gonna kill off all these characters, especially the characters that we know for sure have several movie deals and stuff. Like yeah, that. made Disney way too much money. They're coming back. I think all the deaths before the snap, mm-hmm. they're more than likely permanently dead. Yeah, so, I, yeah. Gamora. Uh, 
Heimdall. Heim- Heimdall. Heimdall. Uh, Loki. Stuff? Loki, I feel like, is still questionable. Just because he's like the god of mischief? Yeah, but... it's just like... Maybe. He, he might be permanently dead. That, it, that's up in the air right now. Yeah. Um, Heimdall, Gamora. There's one, I feel like there's one more. Um, damn, who, who would have been? I don't, was there? Heimdall, Gamora. Was there one more? Or no? Am I, am I missing somebody? Maybe that's it. It was just I, those I three? I want to say that's it. Well, maybe Vision. Vision. Thank okay, you. Yeah, Vision. Thank you. Yeah. I knew Vision. I was missing one. Yeah. He got the worst out of everybody. Yeah. You know, it's like digging he, up the he grave. He died twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like digging up the grave. He literally <laughs> died twice within the yeah, span of 30 I felt, seconds. <laughs> I felt, wow. Wanda's not going to forget. She yeah. had to kill him, and then Thanos killed him again in front of her. But that the, was crazy. The yeah. cool that thing what they crazy. did what? with those death scenes is they kept the original Avengers around. They kept literally all the original. Iron yeah. Man, Captain America, Scarlet Witch. I'm assuming Hawkeye's still around because we didn't see him in this film. I'm assuming we're going to see him in the well, next if he, one. Well, if there's no. rumors that he's coming back as Ronan, he's probably named, He's probably one of the the not chosen one. You know what I mean? He's probably okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's if he comes back as Ronan. We, oh, don't, yeah, we, yeah. we don't know that for sure. No, one just done. That's true, yeah. One that wasn't an original Avenger. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm talking from oh, true. the very first Avengers movie. Oh, okay. So we're bringing the, the original team back together. Um, well, yeah, I think I think that's that's the one positive. It's just it didn't. It, once certain characters died, the, the emotional impact that it mm-hmm. would have had on me faded away because I knew those characters were coming back. Yeah. But what would you guys think? I mean, so far I want to go look it up. I think they're they are making a Guardians too. Right. Yeah. Well, well Guardians three. three. Guardians three. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, James Gunn has already confirmed it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. And interesting enough, before this movie came out, he said Gamora was an intricate part of, or, or at least was going to be an intricate part of really? Guardians of the Galaxy. Was going to be? Well, I mean, he, he said those statements before, so I, I don't know if those statements still hold up. I don't know. I don't know either. But I'm so, like, how can you get it? Yeah, so, so far I confirmed... Captain Marvel, Untitled Avengers film, Untitled Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. But you know Black Panther's getting another day. There's no way you... Yeah, he's, I, yeah. I mean, I thought I heard some place where it was like, um, if the director didn't want to do another Black Panther, then, you know, they weren't really going to force him. But, I mean, that could be wrong. I mean, I just heard that heard that from some place. I, I, I don't believe I don't that Ryan Coogler might not want to come back. That's fine. But I, it's hard for me to believe that they wouldn't find someone else to direct yeah. a sequel to Black Panther, especially one so successful as Black Panther. A- exactly, I, I would. I would get on that. I, I think. I think <laughs> the people <laughs> want. I mean, I know for sure. I want a sequel to Black Panther. I mean, I would want a sequel to Black Panther, but I want it done well. I, I do too. I mean, like, as long as you find a great, talented director to, mm-hmm. you know, to direct the film, I'm I'm fine with whoever. So, do you guys think that? I want to combine my last two uh, pros. Sure. Uh, do you think that one Thanos is the is can be considered one of the best? Well, the best villain of the MCU. And what do you think about him not only being the best villain if he is or if he's not? But what do you think about the the movie pretty much told through his point of view? I mean, my thing with like I think Thanos is easily one of the best MCU villains just because his Feeling like his thoughts and his reasons were well, you know, flushed out, but also Very because it was, it was like he won, and he won well, and I could actually feel that fear, versus like some of the other villains. Like Ultron, <coughs> Ultron was annoying. That's what he was. He wasn't yeah. like I wasn't scared of him. I never felt that fear. It was just like okay, this is another comic book movie, and here's the villain, and the heroes are gonna win the day. Where Thanos won. And the scariest thing about Thanos is that he doesn't think of himself as a villain. He just thinks he's legitimately saving this universe. And, you know, there you go. That's your ruler. Your ruler thinks he's doing the right thing, but he's not. I think, like you said, most villains, the best villains at least, 
think that they're the good guy. Exactly. And I, th- I think that's how people are in real life. No one in real life thinks that they're a bad person. Yeah. No, no, no. Everyone thinks they're doing the right thing. So yeah. when you have a villain that strongly believes in what he's doing, it's it's scary because you know this. It's it's hard to stop. You don't know his like limits. That. Yeah. Or how far he's going to take it. Exactly. Because exactly. his beliefs. Which is why I also like Killmonger because he. I mean. A lot of instances, I agreed with them. Oh, of course. Another, I think most another, of, it, well, one of the other best villains, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I think Thanos is definitely the the top of the I think, food chain. I think Loki is a good villain. The Vulture is definitely a good villain. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, who Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. You can't. You, yeah, yeah, Michael Keaton. Michael he's good. He's just such a great actor. It doesn't matter yeah. what the storyline is. He'll make that guy into a great villain. Helmet Zemo. Uh, Zemo. Yeah. Yeah. He, I mean, the thing with Zemo yeah. was he he was like, I can't beat them, but I can destroy them within. And that's that's powerful too, mm-hmm. because because what better what better um, what better support do we have but each other? Exactly. And it, yeah, go ahead. So no, so my thing about Zemo is I like Zemo, Baron but Zemo. In, in my mind, I don't <laughs> see him as. Uh, as like a main villain because I, I felt Zemo was used more so as a tool than the villain of the movie. Because the, you're not wrong. You're the, not, the story yeah. was between, well, it was really Captain America's story about helping his friend, and really the antagonist, if you think about it, was Tony. Yes. Even though they were both good guys, so I thought I felt Zemo was a perfect tool for that film and what they wanted to do. Yeah, definitely. So not to take away from anything that he's done, I think I think he was great. Mm-hmm. But I just didn't see him as a. As, as like a main villain. Well, he wasn't a yeah. physical villain. He was more like a psychological exactly. villain. Exactly. So. Yeah. But I thought he was great. Not, yeah. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. Yeah. I think, I, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a movie um, to the, that focused on the point of view of the bad guy in its entirety. Mm-hmm. I mean, certain points, yeah. Certain causes, there's certain reasons and certain purposes, yes. But not the whole, not pretty much the whole movie. This is pretty much Thanos' movie. Well, I mean, I, th- less. I think we needed that because all the other characters we already had backstories to. Mm-hmm. We've had but ten yeah, years of building. Right. Thanos, we would had a little bit of cameos. Yeah. It was once at the end of the Avengers, and then once I believe in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, yeah. Was it volume, volume one, I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So we, we really didn't know anything about Thanos unless you're an avid comic book reader. So you needed to take a film, uh, you know, where he's the primary villain and dive into his backstory. So I thought that was perfect. And, and they also still had about maybe three, three or four characters uh, from the good guys that they, they showed it from their point of view as well. So I thought that was good. That's true. Okay. Um, Example Thor, I felt like was a main character in this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely so, Spider Man, Tony. Yeah, that yeah. whole group. Uh, pretty much the Guardians of the Galaxy, and then like Iron Man and his his group. Well, you know, Spider Man and um, yeah, I think I think Mantis probably got the least uh, screen time. No, not well. I wouldn't say screen time, but the least like story, like something to do. You know I, what I mean? I, I think she got the least. I disagree. I, I, I thought that some of my favorite characters, uh, which which uh, is part of my negatives, is um, Captain America, um, Black Panther. It's got, um, no, no, Black Widow. Black Widow. So, I think so all those much, characters right? didn't, I mean, they were in the movie, but they, they were, again, they were kind of tools in this movie. They well, were I just think, used yeah. to, to, to fight the bad guy. They didn't really have any storyline. Well, I think the main focus because of that, uh, because of that, was if, if the main focus was actually uh, the the stones and vision. Yeah, I think the main focus was was one of the main focuses was vision, which is so, fine. I mean, yeah. uh, so so I think that they, they they wanted to focus more on vision and his conflict with uh, him knowing that one day that he might die. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That Thanos might get this stone, which he actually did. Yeah. You know, unfortunately. I, I really did like the line where Vision was re- ready to sacrifice himself. And this was before the, the end fight mm-hmm. scene. And Cap was like, hey, no, we don't sacrifice one of our own. Yeah. And then Vision hits him back with, well, Captain, you know, you did that once a long time ago for all of us. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Why can't yeah. I do the same? Cap didn't really have an answer for it. Yeah, him. he didn't. So I he thought he said that was because of a different time. Yeah, but that, yeah. I well, felt like that was yeah. a little bit of a cop out answer. Yeah. It was like, ah, uh, good point. Uh, yeah, <laughs> different yeah, time. Yeah. I gotta get, gotta get my last word. I gotta get my last word. 
<laughs> Gotta get my last word in. Uh, are you, any more pros or anything, or um, or any more hard pros? Or? Honestly, I was just happy that they showed Peter's best friend for like a small cameo. Yeah, uh, the school yeah. Bus. yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Cause oh. distraction. Oh. We're gonna Speaking die. That, We're I gonna wish, die. <laughs> I wish we saw Valkyrie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And she was. Uh, Wifey. I might be a little biased because I want her to marry me, but uh, <laughs> Tessa Thompson has a special yeah. place in my heart. So mm-hmm. uh, I bet. I it actually. I realized this like a week or two ago that she like Valkyrie doesn't have like a name. It's just Valkyrie. Oh yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's okay. Going on me. She could also be known yeah. as my wife. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Well, you better be nice to your wife because yeah. she can fight. But I actually, <laughs> I actually read that uh, the Russo brothers said in the in an interview that Valkyrie is alive because if you notice in the movie, Thor said that Thanos killed half his people. So I'm assuming that uh, half his people got away in some type of escape pod yeah. what and Valkyrie is on board. Yeah. Well, they didn't mention Cork. I thought but I, I'm hoping Cork. I, I hope uh, yeah. he better be alive because he was like one of the funniest exactly. parts of I saw Thor one of the Rome. thumbnails on YouTube and somebody did a video. I didn't look at it, but I just saw the thumbnail and it said it had a picture of Cork and it says whatever happened what happened to Korg during the events of, of, of Thor Ragnarok like when Thanos came up yeah. and he because we didn't see that part it, it's a good possibility like what happened he, to he Thor? could be on I mean, one of those Korg, yeah. uh, escape pods so we'll, yeah. hopefully we'll find out yeah so if you guys are done with the uh, pros now let's let's hit up with the cons anybody got any hard cons I know, I know we've been talking about cons a little bit here and there but what are your like hard cons I mean I have four of them but what are your hard cons Um, the first one I had was I, I felt like the pacing was a little bit off for me. Um, I know not everybody might agree with me, but there, there was some parts for me that kind of dragged a little bit um, between the the opening few scenes and the fi- the climactic battle. Mm. I felt like the middle of him going around getting the stones was a little bit long for me. Uh, mm. I, I, no- I noticed myself kind of checking the time around those moments. So, um... What else? Um... You got anything? I wouldn't say it's a true con, but what actually messed me up a little bit afterwards was uh, me and my boyfriend were talking about um, <clears throat> Peter Parker and how in the beginning Tony and Pepper had the conversation where Tony's like, oh, I had a dream that we had a son. And then, you know, throughout, like, you know, Tony's kind of Peter's father figure in a way, giving right. him suits, mentoring him and everything. And then at the end, like, Peter feeling funny because his spidey senses are going off. And knowing, like, that he's probably going to die. And then he's like, you know, Mr. Yeah. Stark, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And he's, like, hugging Tony. And then he dies. And that just, like, messed me up a little bit. So it made you yeah. sad. Well, I, I, which I think it did its job if, if it made yeah. you oh, sad. Oh, it did. It yeah. did. It did. That that was, like, the hardest death. Because it's, like, this kid who, who's like, oh, screw it. I'll go into space. I'll jump into space. I want to be an Avenger. I want to impress Mr. Stark. Right. And then yeah. he, he died. And did you see Tony's face after? Oh, that, that I think, was yeah. I think that was all for that kid. That, that face, was all that, for that. Oh kid. yeah, most definitely was for that. I kid. mean, they built it up. I, I mean, he, like, he's, yes. he's become a sort of father figure to Spider Man, and he even said in Spider Man Homecoming, "If you know, if you die, that's on me." Yeah, I I really that that, yeah. that responsibility. You could tell. You, you could see in his face that he felt that. But yeah. something we didn't mention is what Spider Sense. Yeah, Spider Sense. Yeah, I wish they used it. A, a no, more. I mean this is the first movie with Tom Holland Spider Man that they introduced. Oh, Spider-Sense. in the school yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I thought that was great because I've been wanting to see him using yeah. Spider Sense mm-hmm. for. That's one of my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite aspects of the Spider Man is the Spider Sense. Yeah, I mean yeah. I would love to have. Spider-Sense. I used to watch the cartoons. You guys remember the cartoons that yeah. used to come on in the channel? See my ex Spider Sense are tingling. <laughs> <laughs> and I. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Spider Sense. <laughs> ding ding ding. ding. Uh, one of the one of the cons that I had was Steve Rogers' new shield. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's his new shield. It's kind of like a loner. Yeah. But, uh, I don't really like it. And um, what do you guys think? Because I, I know that I think he gave the shield back to Tony. I think you mentioned that. Yeah, he did. The he Civil did. War. Yeah. And I don't like when he said, and get this man's shield. I was thinking to myself, I'm hoping it's very similar to the shield. Like the round shield mm-hmm. with, with something resembling a star yeah. in the middle. With it, as a, a vibranium shield because I didn't like that shield that looks like you know like, well, like spikes coming out yeah it was yeah, it, it, yeah uh, one on each arm 
But to that to that point, yeah. actually, I didn't mind it because I feel really? like they're saving his new shield for the next one. Yeah, I, I, I think, think about that. that. Once about Tony that. and Cap make up, yeah, um, I think and make out. They, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I, I think they even mentioned that there's a, there's a small part in Spider Man Homecoming where the Vulture is trying to steal uh, Tony Stark's you know weapon weaponry, yeah, stuff like that. That uh, what's his name? What's Tony Stark's uh, Bodyguard or driver? Oh, happy, happy. happy. Yeah. He yeah, mentions happy. Cap's new shield. Mm-hmm. When I, I believe, I believe he mentions Cap's new shield in in, in that movie. In uh, Infinity War? No, in, in Spider-Man: Homecoming. Homecoming. Maybe it, it's it's I, towards the I, end actually, before Vulture actually gets onto the plane oh, okay. when they're loading up the plane. Um, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, that was when they were he mentions in the Thor's like magical belt, and I'm pretty sure, if yeah, I'm not mistaken, he, he says Cap new yeah. shield. He did. So he I, did I that. think that Tony's that. Gonna, once they make up, Tony's gonna give him that new shield, and we're gonna see a whole new Captain America shield. Just a little nugget. Uh, if you guys are keeping up with the, the Sony and Fox deal and re- reference to Fantastic Four, did you guys hear the theory about uh, the building that they were clearing out when he was talking to Happy? For which which movie? For uh, um, Spider Man Homecoming, when Happy was clearing out and he was talking and talking oh, no, about no. the belt, a uh, Thor's belt, and a new. And what about Captain the building? I thought shield. that was the old Avengers building. It was, but there was a theory going around. That's going to be the Fantastic, oh, Fantastic Four. Four. The Baxter Building. Yeah, I mean that. If, if, if it, it might be the Baxter Building, that, that's so, a definitely good possibility. Because Tony totally is clearing it out, right. and supposedly he uh, uh, sold it. He sold it to. Reed, probably Reed Richards. We'll have to wait so, in like two years so, to see if that I mean, comes we'll, through. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Just a little nugget for you. What else? What other cons you guys got? Any hard cons? Oh, like? I'm trying to think. I, uh, the, the, the death scenes. Uh, yeah. like we mentioned this before. It just Other than Spider-Man's, the, the rest, once I knew that certain characters were definitely not staying dead, the, the impact it should have had. No, definitely. It, it faded on me, so... I, I, I knew what they were doing. They're, they're setting up this movie for Thanos to win, which is great. It makes yeah. him a really yeah. great villain. Yeah. But the fact that I know they're not staying dead kind of took away that yeah. that effect for no, me. No, definitely. I think everybody know, kind of knows that. But I, I, I thought that that was kind of a, a cheap way out. I wouldn't say cheap way out, but that was kind of saying, that was kind of the, the director's, Anthony and Joe Russo, saying, well, you already got a two and a half hour movie. You know of of awesomeness. We we I wish we could make it four hours, but mm-hmm. we can't. So yeah. Yeah. let's just quick, quick, quick. All right, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, and move it right along. Right. You know? <laughs> that's that's my opinion. That's probably why they did it like that. Because I mean, or else this this should have been like a three and a half, four hour movie. Yeah. And see each one of them go, and which would have been cool. Right. But then you know, you know you you know. <laughs> then uh, you, you. I mean, also like you know, know if that. Since Thanos really did win, like it is gonna go quickly. It is going to go like literally people disintegrating in front of you. So. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And uh, also, I, I wonder the more more emotional impact with with Captain Bucky because yeah, Cap- Captain wanted, America has been fighting for Bucky since Winter Soldier. That, that's that's his boy. And yeah. then when he died, I was just like, bro, I, I'd be breaking down if I was <laughs> you. He was just kind of, I guess, more, he was more shocked than anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, everybody was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody but was shocked. He, he, he literally just lost his best friend again. Well, for, he lost like, his two best friends. He, but no one, no one saw Falcon die. That's the only thing. Remember, uh, War Machine, I forget, uh, Rhodey was looking for him. He was like, Sam! Sam and then Falcon uh, dies, but then no one actually saw him die. None of the Avengers saw saw him die. It was, wow! Yeah, War Machine right. was looking for him in the, in that. Uh... Ouch! Yeah, let's talk about yeah. Let's let's. You mentioned War Machine, mm-hmm. and I was thinking about this actually. I mean, we all know War Machine. You know, he got paralyzed. Mm-hmm. And we all know Tony Stark is helping him out with his new prosthetic yeah. legs or so whatever. Um. I kind of think that they should have mentioned that, you know, even a though, more into it. like, even though we know that mm-hmm. Tony helped his friend out yeah. and he got him some tech to, re, you know, reca- uh, recalibrate his legs. Yeah. I-, I think that, I think that they should have at least mentioned it. And and I didn't hear them mention that, that, yeah. Well, they they sh- they showed it in, in Civil War. So I, I was like, they did? Towards, the, towards the end yeah. where they showed. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Towards the end. Okay. So I guess so, they didn't have to mention it. I was fine with that. I was a little surprised with his little change of character because he was very, 
very much for the accords in this movie. It, it was a yeah, short scene, yeah. but he pretty much stuck it to, to the yes. general. Yeah, general. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess, you know, fighting for something and then getting paralyzed kind of kind of opens your you, eyes. Yeah, it gets but, you over it. And it, what shocked me, actually, was how chill he was with Falcon. Like, obviously, you know, like, you know, Vision when Vision went to go and attack, like, he meant it for Falcon, but yeah. instead it was, um, you know, War Machine got him. Yeah. And then you got that scene at the end where Tony, like, just shoots at Falcon, because Falcon's like, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, like, I would still hold a grudge, but I guess after a couple yeah, of years. Sure. I mean, and, the, yeah, I guess. the way I think of it, it's not Falcon's fault. He was about to get shot at. If uh, it okay, wasn't, very true, yeah. <laughs> if anything, it's Vision for not, like... <laughs> true. Uh, or actually, honestly, it's War Machines, isn't it? Because he should have been prepared if he, if he didn't hit him on yeah. target. That was coming straight for him, so... Yeah, yeah, true. But, uh... Yeah. I mean, I mean it wasn't fair to anybody there. No, no, not really. Um... What do you guys think about Loki's death? Now, I think that was the most realistic death in the Marvel Cinematic yeah. Universe. Like, I, I, I've like, like th- that's that death for Loki when he 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 choked shit out of him. Mm-hmm. I thought that okay, now that's realistic. Yeah, he was actually, you know, like sh- shaking for his life, and his eyes was turning red, and 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 he was just. I, I thought that that was like I gave that a. A bravo, because mm-hmm. finally we seen a realistic death. Yes. You know what do you think about that? I mean, I get. I'm still stuck. Like you know, it's not powerful. That is just you know <clears> oxygen <throat> depletion, and you're done. Yeah. I mean, I'm still kind of like almost like a question mark. Did Loki still really die though? Yeah, because he was like you know, I Loki, god of mischief. Well, remember they even though they're gods, they can still die. Oh no! I, I mean, I they know. can still die. They're not like. You know. I agree. It just if it wasn't for Loki faking death before, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I, I'm still like up yeah. in the air. It's like if they really want to bring Loki back, they could so easily yeah. just be like, oh, well, he faked it, and then yeah. Well, we all know who's the cheater here. The, the what's the cheater here? The time stone. The time mm-hmm. stone is the remedy that can put everything back. What do you think about his, his death and the way it looked? I mean, the way it looked, it was fine. It's just the the whole time I, as well. Yeah. I was thinking, eh, is he really dead? Yeah, you know, I, I was thinking about that for like a good minute. I was like, that old Loki boy, he's still up to his old okay. tricks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't, I don't know because they had several characters say in, in the movie he's been dead before, but I think he's dead this time. Yeah, so, yeah I, don't, I don't know if they're trying to make you believe he's actually dead this time, or if you know that. It could go either way. I mean, point. in a way, it could kind of just be true. Where it's like, you know, Loki did actually try to kill Thanos. So it was like, he well, yeah. he died doing the good thing. So maybe it is really like, a, yeah. you know, a true death. And I'm glad yeah. it was it was his redemption. Yeah. I was like, yes, finally. I mean, I don't I yeah. don't know, guys. I, honestly, it's... I mean, you never know with these Marvel movies anyway. Yeah, exactly. So. One, did, did we really think that him sneaking a knife would kill Thanos. And especially know. walking up to him. So. so I was kind of like, mm, somebody's being a little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're a little a shady. Again. Yeah, it's like, you know you're not going to kill Thanos like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something yeah. seems a little <laughs> off. I, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, actually thought about that too. I was like, really Loki? At that scene when he had it behind his back? Yeah, I was like, I was like, really you're Loki? You're not going to kill Thanos with that. <laughs> Let's like, be honest. Really? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's... You didn't kill Hela with that. You're not going to kill <laughs> Thanos. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> exactly. Hey, speaking of Hella, uh, wife, what? yeah, yeah, oh, wife. yeah, yeah exactly. Keep that speaking you of speaking of Hella, yeah, I just read some snippets that. What do you think? Uh, dude, she made me question my sexuality throughout that entirety, entirety of that movie. She Ooh. kept my sexuality intact. So, <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> all right, I have um, one issue with the trailer. The money oh, shot at exactly, the end of that trailer exactly. was not in the movie. The Hulk? Uh, there were a bunch of shots in that yeah. trailer that were not in the movie. <coughs> the like, money shot when they were all running in the uh, forest uh, together. Hulk, Hulk was supposed to be running. In the, he was running in the trailer. Yeah, and then in the movie, yeah. it was the Hulk busters. Oh, actually, no, we didn't even get that shot, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it, it was, we got yeah. a side shot of them running. And yeah. I, I, speaking of that, I love the fact that both Black Panther and Captain America were just like running. In front oh, of, yeah. They, mm-hmm. they, they, they killed it in front of everybody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't see that money shot. I was waiting for that. I didn't see the shot where Black Widow. She was on a motorcycle around. or something, right? Like she was uh, turning around. Yeah. 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 And 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 Banner would look like he was fixing it mm-hmm. with the hand uh, detached 
from the uh, Hulk Buster, and yeah, I didn't see that. So obviously, we we have some deleted scenes there. Yeah. What do you think about? No, I mean, I, I can't wait to see them. I mean, you know, ultimately, like the movie was great and everything, but it was just like, you know, <laughs> I, I'm curious to see these deleted scenes and extras and whatnot. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was, I was yeah, I, I'm curious to see that, too. And I'm, it's been a long time, no thanks to streaming, it's been a long time since I've actually bought a DVD yeah. and actually able to look at, enjoy the special features that they took time to put in the DVD. Damn you, streaming. Damn you mm-hmm. for giving me an express view of my favorite content. <laughs> Damn you. But I, I'm going to start going back to buying DVDs and everything. Because what I miss is movie commentaries. I used to buy yeah. DVDs and listen, watch the movie, and then listen to the director and the cast talk about, you know, the, the movie as it's playing. And I miss that. That's what actually my <coughs> boyfriend did uh, to prepare Excuse for me. Infinity War. Uh, we actually bought like those special edition blu-rays of the marvel movies and we watched them and we'd watch like the deleted scenes yeah. or the commentary and like all the yeah, little easter it. eggs just to prepare so yeah what about you um in terms of the the trailer the uh the yeah the, the things that we didn't yeah get, yeah uh I, I think they did that purposely um because so. if i don't know if you guys remember in thor ragnarok the trailer uh at the, the end shot where he's Using the his his full power without any weapons, mm-hmm. and you see the electricity. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah both eyes. And oh yeah, 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 you're right. But then in the movie, uh, you know, he yeah. loses an eye. So I, I think they don't want to give it all away. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it was just a misdirect. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, man, you you're a good segue guy. I like that. Speaking of that, uh, both eyes. I like the way they transitioned from the eye patch mm-hmm. to him having two eyes. That, uh, or that Rocky gave. Him. I did. I, I was rock. I, I like that eye patch. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I was like, you could have kept it. I felt like they were like, okay, we're getting tired of this eye patch. Let's yeah. let's just find a way to give him. I'm sorry. This is two against one here. I am not Team Eye Patch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I like Thor with both, I, I both like of his I like the fact eyes. that it's reminiscent of his father <laughs> having the eye patch. Like, I liked it. I, That's what I do like. It's yeah. reminiscent of his father. Yeah. Like, I, like, I like my boy. He really is old and son, so. <laughs> I mean, I like my pirate angel, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, ah, I, I like the eye patch. I wish they would have kept it, but. All right, well, 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 I doubt that he'll get another eye. Hopefully, he does it. If he if he gets his other eye stabbed, then I'll be damned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hopefully just bring Pella back. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure she'll come back in some shape or form. Now, surprises. Now, uh, are, are you oh, done with the? Let me see yeah, yeah, yeah. if I have any more yeah. negatives. Up, oh, yeah, oh, yeah oh, the, the biggest, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest one. Yeah, thirty more. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the other elephant in the room. What? What? Else? Peter fucking Quill. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. talk about Peter Quill. Fuck, fuck guy. Fuck, fuck this guy, fucking guy. Man. Uh, <laughs> the, the thing that really pissed me off is that <laughs> you can blame him, universe. You can blame him. <laughs> it, I understand his girlfriend got killed. I'd probably be really pissed off and wanting to kill the guy myself too. Right. The fate of the universe is at stake. All you had to do was wait a little bit, then you could kill the guy. They almost had it off of him. If you saw it. it, my issue was Nebula was egging him. Uh, Nebula, she was egging him on, and it was like, "Yo, yes. hold him back!" Like, what, Thirty if you seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. You're not a dumb chick. Just hold him back. You got, you're a robot. You can hold him. They they could have yeah. waited until it, after they got the glove off. That like, literally yeah. just wait, wait. Exactly. Because one, if he keeps that glove on, you're, you're all fucked. And, and Tony, and Tony told him. He said, you know, you know, put those emotions aside. We almost got this off of him. We yeah. almost got this off of him. Come on, you know. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. another thing is like, I get that he's mad. <laughs> yeah. But did you think punching Thanos in the face was gonna even kill him anyway? No. It's like no, you you literally just wasted your emotions. And he hurt Mantis. And and cost half yeah. the universe and he because. Hurt, yeah. Yeah. So and, that and, that it was literally the dumbest character decision. I I, I kind of hate Star Lord after that. But. Yeah, I I think he he was. I mean, believe it or not, I don't think that. I don't think that. I think. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that that scene was forgettable, only because of all the other 99 percent of the awesome shit that went around that one story. But in retrospect. If you want to blame somebody, blame Peter Quill. <laughs> that, that scene stood out to me because I, I was pissed off after yeah, that. I was like, yeah, yeah. really? Bro? I saw it twice and I was upset. Mm-hmm. I was like, really, man? Why, why would you? You just you just can't wait, man. You just exactly. had a few more, a, a little bit longer, man. Exactly. You know, it's crazy. You got any more? Uh, any more yeah, cons? Yeah. 
Let me see. Give me one second. Get, oh, I just had it. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Man. Um, let's see. Shit, we, we already got an hour and five minutes of a podcast, man. We talked. We talked about. I talked about not uh, having <laughs> enough Black Panther, Captain America, Winter yeah. Soldier. Um, no interaction with Buck and Falcon. I think no. I think we covered it, guys. Um, yeah. Did yeah. That's it. That's any, all. Any we pro- covered all. Any of my comments? Comments. I mean, what what an interesting <clears throat> parallel. I, I it's coming back to me now that I found was. Back in Civil War, when Bucky would go and, like, they'd keep him frozen until they would would wake him up and be, you know, say those words to wrap him up and to send him out on a mission. What I found interesting was T'Challa, and, you know, the fate of the whole universe, him coming out with, like, a metal arm going up to White Wolf and him being like, he's rested long enough. And he's presenting, all he does is he presents him the arm and Bucky's like, where's the fight? And it was like, you know, are we still using Winter Soldier? Is is he White Wolf now, or is he Winter Soldier? If you guys know what I mean, like they let him rest, but did they did they really mention it in this? Uh, in, did they mention it in the Avengers that he's White White Wolf? Or no, no. Well, at the end I, of, I of Black Panther, Panther. Right. they did. Yeah, uh, they I was just trying to recall what and what they. I, I think <clears throat> Cap just referred to him as Buck. So I yeah. I, I don't know. Well, he was still Bucky to me. I, yeah, I, yeah, he's I didn't still see Bucky. no White Wolf or anything. Yeah, but it was just I like mean, I found that interesting parallel where it's like, no matter what, you're, no matter where you're at, they're going to send you to a fight. Right, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he, he's a soldier at heart. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean. He, yeah, I mean, that, that was, that was expected. Send it to arm. I mean, be between the lines, man. Let's do this, man. <laughs> I just really wish we had some more Bucky and Falcon moments. That that mm-hmm. was like my yeah. favorite part of the Civil War. Was mm-hmm. The little band. would have been nice. Yeah, but like, but but like I said before, it probably yeah, again. No, no, no. no, no, I, no I, again, again. I had an interesting question for you guys. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It, let's say they would have kept Bucky around uh, for the next one, right? And, mm-hmm. and Captain America, I mean not Captain America, Iron Man comes back. How do you think that interaction would play out if he saw him again? Because at the end of the day, that is the guy that killed his parents. I think that. I think. Oh, you. you, you <laughs> no, I, I'm thinking it now. I'm going through it. I think that. Because it's hard to separate the two. Yeah, I mean, Tony I, still would have been pissed. Yeah, I think no he still what. wanted to. Not <laughs> you think he, he still put his hand up like ah, I want to blast you right now. <laughs> you know, but at the end of the day, I think Tony. See, he he evolved. He 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 he's evolved a lot, and he's learning. He's learning. He's learning himself, and and he's actually learning what matters in life. Because mm-hmm. in the first Iron Man, he didn't really know what mattered in life. He, yeah, he he cared about money. The fame, you know, being on top of everything, yeah. being the big guy in charge, Billionaire, but playboy, yeah, philanthropist. philanthropist, yeah. But throughout his movies, uh, Iron Man two, Iron Man three, as, as bad as people, uh, as bad as people said it was, I still liked it. But uh, I think that he he's evolved, and I think at the end of the day, and at the end of the movie, he would have still been upset. But at the same time, he doesn't have to forgive him because yeah. he does still care to kill his parents. Yeah. I wouldn't forgive the guy, especially after what uh, after the truth that he's discovered in, in uh, um, Civil, uh, Civil War. War. But I think that he still would have been pissed. But at the same time, I think that he's he has. I think he's past the point where he he has other issues that that needs his focus, like Pepper Potts. He, I think he's more focused on starting a family. He's not going to forget, but I think he's trying to move on and trying to create this, as he called in, a, in, in Avengers Agent Ultron, create this armor around the world, mm-hmm. you know, still. Yeah. Hmm. So let me ask you guys this. <laughs> Do you think that Bucky Barnes should be incarcerated? No. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I don't think he's that much. He's not really a threat. I mean, he he was because of a few a few list of words. You know, it, it's not. It wasn't really him. I can understand if it was him. If, if nothing else influenced him to to do what he's you know. I, I had a great debate with my friend a long time ago about this. We would fight about this for hours whether or not yeah. Bucky Barnes should be held responsible for the actions that he committed, even though he wasn't uh, in control. Because he still committed those actions, and I, my mine was the same answers as you, you know, both huh? of you guys. Like, no, he wasn't in control. Yeah. He shouldn't be held at fault. But well, I mean, you know, I mean, well, what do you think? No, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna throw some real life in there, but like Patty, yeah. uh, Patty Hearst, 
where she got kidnapped <laughs> by that like army and then she was starting to hold up like banks and stuff mm. it's like you oh, know yeah, there's psychological yeah. you know stockholm syndrome psychological <clears throat> control you do what you have to do to survive but not even that he was legit he was literally brainwashed yeah, frozen, yeah pretty much literally yeah. <laughs> like literally brainwashed like you see these words in this order and you got a killer you know an assassin out for you so dr jekyll, dr. jekyll and mr hyde yeah exactly and i mean like you know even like proving himself in romania when he was able to escape he just chilled and yeah, stayed, yeah, under, he, yeah. stayed underneath and he would only yeah. fight when he had to so yeah yeah i mean i feel sorry for him but i mean if if he goes back to the the america's if he goes back to the States, he's going to have to keep running. Yeah. He should stay in Wakanda. <laughs> no, he said he <laughs> loved it there in Wakanda. I should stay in Wakanda. <laughs> he's like, I love this place. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he loves it. <laughs> he's going to have to sweat and go back to the States. Um, I want to talk about some... Are, are you done with your comments? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I want to talk about some surprises. You know, like uh, Red Skull, for example. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, go ahead. That, I, nobody expected that. Nobody I did. Nobody expected I did. that. Like, the whole theater cheered when we saw Red Skull. Yeah. It was really interesting to see how, and, you know, he was leading Thanos up the way and was like, you know, I yeah. wasn't the one chosen to, like, get this stone and yada, 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 and he's just leading people to it. It's crazy. What do you think about Red Skull's appearance? Oh, I, I knew it was coming the whole time. Really? Um, really? As soon as I saw the depth, you know, cape, I was like, that's that's Red Skull, you guys. Look, he's coming. No, actually, I had no idea. That oh. was uh, <laughs> that, that was a complete surprise. So, um, really? I was a little confused because I <laughs> thought it was the... Um, death? No, no. I was confused at how he was brought there. Because I, yeah. from Captain America, the first Avenger... It was a, it was a different Infinity Stone that he was holding, so he was holding yeah. a space stone. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I was just kind of kind of confused with how he got there, but I thought it was cool to see him back because you know I, honestly I had forgotten about the Red Skull, so yeah. to, to see his character it was still you know living and kicking it. Uh, that, that, was, that was pretty. It cool. was a nice surprise. Yeah. I, I think anybody could have made that appearance really uh, I want to know yeah. how he started flying all of a sudden because yeah. he was yeah. definitely floating yeah. <laughs> before yeah, uh, Thanos and uh, like, Gamora what? walked up to him he was definitely like this yeah. ominescent you know yeah that, and, and that's that's something that was unexplained too I mean he just popped up mm-hmm. I mean it was a nice surprise but I would like to explain you know some explanation like you know I wish Red Skull explained I, yeah, I, he did say that up. yeah that he was brought there to yeah. I guess guard the the soul stone or, or to present it to like who is worthy or something right. like that but how, how is he able to gain all this knowledge of who thanos is and who's good yeah. i don't i don't know some some little parts i was kind of left confused yeah. but i was like okay whatever i get it uh he's he's pretty much just used as a as a tool in this particular scene so yeah. it, it's fine my man my man the segue uncle tone <laughs> Oh man, you are the segue man of the of yeah. The I mean, world, I brought man. up Gamora and uh. And you yeah. just you just brought up something that I actually wanted to mention in this, and you just brought it to my attention when you said, "Oh, uh, about uh, who how he knows Thanos mm-hmm. or whatever." What about Thanos mentioning Stark's name when he said Stark? I, I, guess- I was shocked. I was like, "What?" And I saw a few thumbnails on on on, on YouTube. Like, how does? Thanos knows Stark. A couple of things. You How does thing. Thanos know like almost every fucking thing in this movie? Like he knew where exactly all the stones were, exactly where to pop up. Yeah. I, I think yeah. it was his uh, followers, his his little posse. Was this his followers or one of the stones that was feeding him information? Because it seemed like he knew everything. Yeah, that's posse. what I was confused of as well. Because but... he knew exactly where all the stones were. He was just po- he's literally just popping up where yeah. they were, and like, any place he needed to be. Besides the Soul Stone, he was, you know. You know, speaking for a guy who was searching for, for these stones uh, yeah. for these stones for like years and years, that's what I got confused of. But I figured it was just like his followers who were able to tell him. And then uh, another thing is, I, I, I get that the Mind Stone Vision yeah. is on the Earth, but how do you know exactly where he is on the Earth? Like Earth is still a pretty, yeah. it's a pretty, big, pretty place. big place, yeah. of course. And he was well, able to question, just yeah. pinpoint it. Exactly where he is at all times. And it was like yeah, Vision was question. Paul Beatty or what's his Paul Bettany. Paul, Paul Bettany. Yeah. 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 yeah, Paul Beatty. 
Bobby. 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 Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I was gonna say something. I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. let me uh, catch myself. Here. Uh, wow. Yeah. All right, another surprise: Gamora's death. That was actually surprising to me because that that I mean I I know we talked about Loki's realistic death, but I mean Loki's realistic death was was quick. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the shit was painful. They getting the oxygen mm-hmm. sucked out of them. Yeah. But somebody being thrown off a cliff <laughs> from a from a guy like that. That's, that's pretty. I was like, what? He is an asshole. I mean, as soon as Red Skull mentioned, like, you gotta sacrifice the thing you love yeah. the most, I was like, that was, nah, that's nah, a setup. Scroll, scroll back and act, scroll back, scroll back, because <laughs> he's gonna throw you. And um, she thought that he was talking about sacrificing himself. She yeah. No. thought that, no. that's why she was laughing. No, no, she, no, she, she was, was laughing. Because he doesn't love, she thought he doesn't love anything. Exactly. Oh, not even her. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. exactly. So once, okay, yeah. once he, like, started crying... Honestly, I still don't know if I buy that he actually loved. I mean, obviously he had to because it, it worked. I mean, yeah. but I, it, wow. I mean, it's. I mean, all it said was you know the thing you love the most. But I mean, to him, that whatever feelings he has for her, that's what he considers love. Right. Okay. I mean, so, I, I buy that. So like, we could question whether it's like true love, legitimate love, like love like a father and daughter. But you know that that's what he thought of it. Wow. That's. Because now that I think about it, he never actually, I mean, besides killing her at the end, he never actually hurt her up until that point. No, he well, never yeah, did. Yeah, you're right. And yeah. no matter how many times she tried to kill him, like, he, he didn't just, lay a hand on her, really. He never laid a hand on her. He's just like, try better. Yeah. Try, try better next time, so. Speaking, speaking of killing him, I like the way he was torturing Nebula. I like the way that that torture scene was pretty intense. Ugh. Her being a machine and her being stripped away, you know, magnetically. Mm-hmm. Um, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure we. I mean, I've seen that in other movies, that, that yeah. type of torture concept in other movies. But I thought it was. Uh, yeah. I, I thought it was alright. I, I thought I thought it was cool. I mean, it, it served what the scene needed to do. He, he used her as a tool to get information out of Gamora, and then you knew as soon as like she started screaming, I was like, Gamora's not gonna just let her keep on. Yeah. yeah no, of course not. Of course being not. tortured. You know. Um, I mean, ever since like Nebula's been tortured for so long, just oh, because yeah. of Gamora. So you remember when she said whenever she got into a fight with her and whoever the loser was, she would yeah. Apparently, she lost all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was stripped away. He was stripped away every inch of her body. Uh, how about Groot? I like the way Groot took you know took the initiative mm-hmm. to make a a, a, a handle. A handle, yeah. You know, I love Groot. I, I like that. I like how he was playing on the uh, on the little game. Yeah, yeah the exactly. whole time. He's like, I am Groot. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Language. Yeah, whoa. He really is growing <laughs> up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> how about how about Shuri trying to trying to fix uh, Visions of Time's uh, hey, Mind Stone? She died. I'm I'm <clears throat> pissed. Yeah. I would be pissed because she, I love her. Yeah, she yeah, she's very loved. She's definitely she's a fan loved. favorite. Um, uh, we mentioned before um, M'Baku mm-hmm. You know I, uh, His character is Manny But a comic book He came to Join in the fight At the last moment yeah. You know I like his war cry I don't, I don't exactly. know why. Well, I forget what it is He was like I, I forget how he says it now. I don't know um, um, Oh god Yeah I forgot Damn we just Watched Black Panther I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually just watched, just watched it. it Right before the podcast Actually But uh, I don't uh, while you guys thinking about that, uh, another surprise was I did not expect a working balance of comedy, action, and emotion. Mm-hmm. I did not expect that because there was so many characters to be rumored in this film, especially uh, the the TV Marvel characters at yeah. one point, and I didn't think that it was going to work. So how do you think? Um, I kind of expected it because I, I feel like in Civil War the Russo brothers are pretty good in. Um, <clears throat> Catering to however the characters are supposed to be, yeah. so or whatever works best for those characters. Mm-hmm. So with the Guardians of the Galaxy, they're you know they're a comedy base type superhero film. So you had you had to have some some comedy with those characters. I, I, and plus, I think the Rooster Brothers have they're great at balancing out a film. Exactly. So um, no, I wasn't really surprised. Uh, I, I kind of figured I, I didn't expect it to be as much comedy. As there was, yeah. because Civil War, even though they had a really, really great comedy moments, yeah. it, uh, overall it was a very serious 
tone. Yeah. I felt like. Um, so I, I thought with the the whole universe being at balance, it would be a little bit more more serious. But that's, I, that's I thought they did a good thought. job. The trailer definitely, and uh, the trailer definitely made it seem like this was gonna be like the the most serious Marvel film that we've ever had. Right. You know, especially especially the scene with Doctor Strange and Wong. Let's talk about Wong for 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 a little bit, my man. My, my man, man like, <laughs> was like peace. <laughs> He's like, well, they got the time stone, so I, I gotta go back and protect the the sanctum. Uh, Wait, but you're what you do? Protect the time stone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what will you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. He's yeah. like, he went to go get his tuna melt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he oh yeah. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh man, who knows? Wong was hilarious. <laughs> you know his, his his last name in real life is Wong, so like yeah. oh yeah, yeah, Benedict Wong, yeah, Benedict, Benedict Wong. Wong, yeah. You, you know it's you know you know it's crazy. I was watching, uh, I was on Facebook, and uh, I don't know if you guys see the meme. Oh, I with, think uh, you, you, with, you with shared it off of mine because I yeah. shared that meme. Yeah, yeah, what? that was so funny. Uh, uh, I can pull it up now. What yeah. was it? It was um, a guy just talking truthfully about. I, no, I'm uh, it's, it's, it's a meme. Yeah, he's pulling it up right now. Pulling it up right now. I mean, it was it was funny, and it, 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 it was. Prof- oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all about to fight Thanos? That's crazy. Y'all be safe. <laughs> so for those of you guys that can't can't see what we're talking about, there's this meme of just a picture of of Wong, and the, the quote says, "Y'all about to fight Thanos? That's crazy. Y'all be safe." <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that, uh, that's pretty that was, funny. And, and that's pretty much what happened too. <laughs> yep. He was like, "All right, y'all got this, right? All right, did y'all see, see this it. one? Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> I didn't really get that one too well. You didn't get it? I, I didn't really get that one too well. Because he was like, "What? I'm gonna have my friends and show up to my birthday party." All oh, right, I just oh, yeah. I got it now. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. So I, I guess there was, there was a lot of mix of action, comedy, and emotion. Yeah, yes. there's a lot of emotion, especially the first scene with Wanda Maximoff and in Vision. Mm-hmm. You know, That's their little, I always forgot. Yeah, Wanda Maximoff. Yeah, Wanda Wanda Maximoff. Wanda Maximoff. Their little romantic relationship, which I thought was cool. I don't know how it's going to work, but with a mm-hmm. sentient being and a you know human being, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, so ho- hopefully, I mean. Hopefully they'll throw, you know, the, the X Men will and the Fantastic, Fantastic Four will get thrown and in the mix one day. Future films, yeah, it'll yeah. probably be a while. Uh, uh, any any uh, overall thoughts or anything? Uh, are we gonna give a score? <clears throat> for yeah, let's, let's give a score for Avengers: Infinity War. Um, I'm thinking about mine right now. I, don't, I mean, eight or nine out of ten. Easily. <clears throat> I mean, it's definitely yeah. in my top five. Yeah, it's definitely definitely in my top five. Um. Let me see. Yeah, I, I, I would get a, I would give it an eight point five out of, eight point five out of ten. I, I have mine a, a solid eight. A solid, solid eight. Solid eight out of ten. Well, I'll tell you why I, I give it a. All right, well, I give it an eight out of ten. But I'll tell you why I give it an eight and not a, and not a ten out of ten. For one, I thought that, like I mentioned before, I thought that the, uh, for the ten, I thought that the the deaths. Were, I'm well. I think that that they were a little, a bit too easily gone. You know what I mean? It, it would have been cool if they they showed them dying like uh, like in a battle scene. But but then, like you said before, it would have defeated the purpose mm-hmm. of of Thanos. you know of, of Thanos snapping his fingers and you know eliminating uh, half the universe. Right. Uh, and the ninth one is all the. The, the the continuities uh like the continuity the, the the small the small not huge like small continuity errors oh you uh, know what i saw a, a continuity error online where peter dinklage's character you know how he's mad at thor because the asgardians are supposed to protect yeah. his people yeah and how thanos forced him to make him the infinity god yeah right hmm. But we saw at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 that Thanos already had the Infinity Gauntlet. And oh. Thor's excuse for not being able to help him out is because As- Asgard just got destroyed. Yeah. Oh, so okay, okay. when did he make yeah. that Infinity Gauntlet for him? Yeah, mm, that's true. Okay. So supposedly, I, I don't know. So, so Supposedly there's a story uh, 
that wasn't told to us, obviously, right before the movie started, which I would have wanted to see that story play out. Um, on how everything happened. I, I think, I mean, I was fine with it. It's just, it's, yeah. It was just a small continuity error. Um, it, it was already so much in this film that yeah. I, I don't know if I really wanted to... I think it, it was probably parts I'd probably take out in place of that. Um, yeah. But... If you were to have, if you were to add one scene in Avengers: Infinity War, what would it be? I would add more Cap and Black Panther. <laughs> nice. If you were to add one scene, and in, 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 what would it be? I'd say more, yeah, side character interaction, definitely. And if I were to add one scene, it would be that money shot that they took away yeah. from us from the trailer, because I thought that that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I really wanted some kind of storyline with Black Panther and or, or Captain America in, in this film. It's just. I guess this is something we'll have to wait for the next film. But, I mean, other than that, I'm not, not really going to complain too much. I mean, they That's did cool. a great job with what they had to work with, and they had yeah, a lot so. to work with. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right, well, in closing, any, any last thoughts? Um, I think we pretty much got damn near all of it out of our system. I mean, <laughs> looking at how yeah. they did the timeline, it was yeah. so Black, you know, T'Challa loses his dad one week. Then Black Panther starts the next week, and now it's Infinity War, so Wakanda just got wrecked. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's think about Thor, though. I mean, oh, Thor, Thor has also. the most... Lo- I'm surprised we didn't talk about this. Thor <laughs> has the most lost out of everybody. Yeah, she mentioned that, too. Yeah. He lost his mom, then he lost his uh, his dad, yeah. then yeah. he lost Asgard, then he lost half his people from Asgard. And his sister again. And, and his, his, his sister that nobody ever decided to talk yeah, about. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Figure out he had a sister. She's dead, I think. Well, well yeah, well, she, well, they, they, they kind of just leave her there and assume look, dead. As of right now, look, he's dead, which I yeah. mean, yeah. I don't know how much. I mean, that's his whole purpose and of like, window. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of the, he lost his whole original crew he, he in did. Thor Ragnarok. No, Sid, Lady <clears throat> Sid supposedly still alive. Possibly. Uh, well, I mean, they haven't they haven't talked about her. So I don't. Oh, yeah, she, you're right. She might oh, be yeah, possibly alive. About her. But then Heimdall dies. Like he's lost everybody I except mean, for the Avengers. I mean, that's his yeah. whole reasoning for like you know going after Thanos and like you know trying to do the thing with like the dying star. He's like, well, everybody I love died, so I might as well do this and try because right. I got yeah. nothing else left. I, I think Thor was my favorite hero in this. In oh, this. yeah, when he came yeah. back at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, oh, he was like the Superman. Of the, of the, <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. Should I hit him in the head? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, but that's that, it. That was, yeah, that was, that, that was, that was bugged out. The, mm-hmm. uh, well, when Heimdall died, I was like, okay, if somebody had to go, okay, I understand him going. Because mm-hmm. I heard it's, it rumors a story that uh, Idris Elba, yeah. he, he, didn't, he, he, he had issues with... Uh, you know, doing like roles like that because I guess he wanted more to do, mm-hmm. and I guess they wouldn't get just according yeah. to the story not much that he can do. So yeah. he was he did, he didn't really want to do any more Marvel films. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, yeah. when did Heimdall gain the <clears throat> ability to use the 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 sword to transport people from anywhere? Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. I never seen him do that before. Yeah. Usually, he would need the machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To do so that. I was like, oh, okay, we can do that now. That's all right. That's- well, <laughs> well, well, I mean, funny, right? <laughs> well, I mean, oh, his well. whole thing was like, you know, just you know, ancestors give me the power to do this. Like it's my last thing to do on dying. this planet. Yeah. Last oh, dying yeah, wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. It, yeah, that he wasn't did on say the that planet. Too. Just uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah. I'm just. Uh, I'm surprised Thor had his ass handed to him like that. I mean, oh. uh, Hulk. Had his hands had into him like that. I was I felt sorry for that guy. Yeah, exactly. Hey, no, no he, wonder he was scared the whole movie. He, come he, out. He literally got bitched the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. and, and he's I think he's a little bit bigger than Thor too. In in, in mass, he's a little bit bigger mm-hmm. than uh, uh, I said Thor. I, Thanos. I, I, yeah, I, he's a little uh, bit bigger he, than Thanos. I felt like they were about the same bulky. size. Or maybe well, Thanos maybe is right. bulky, but he's a little more leaner. Yeah, and I yeah. think Hulk is more beefier. Yeah, yeah. which I was you know, but I guess that it don't really matter. I mean. You know, but all right, let's let's bring this bad boy to a close. So, uh, yeah, well, thanks for listening. If you are listening, hopefully a billion of you are listening. Just like the one billion dollar mark that Avengers Infinity War just hit last week, you know, and I think it actually beat Black Panther, you know, within the first week. All right, yeah, let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. So, uh, thanks for joining us on the, the Fan Club Review Podcast on Avengers Infinity War. And, uh... To my right, to my left is Uncle Tom. To my, to, huh. 
No good. Yeah. Am I right? She needs a muzzle. She needs a muzzle. We as we, does everybody. Go yeah, ahead. we. Yeah, well, I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, stay notified, y'all.